Hello everyone, I'm Andro and this is Xenonauts, uh, an indie game um, that is being developed um, by Goldhawk Interactive, um, a London-based uh, company. Um, this game is a remake of one of my all-time favorite games um, called XCOM. Uh, I'm sure if you haven't played it then you probably are aware of its uh, general existence. Um, and uh, Xenonauts is the more true to the original remake that is coming out in October this year. Um, you may also know that um, another game called XCOM Enemy Unknown uh, by Firexis, which is a AAA title, I guess you could say, uh, is also coming out in October. But that is a fleshier, um, I don't know, more commercial um, remake of the um, amazing original. Um, and let's go into the game now. I just wanted to demonstrate some of them. This is basically pre-alpha, I think, or alpha, or very basic build. Uh, in it mostly just demonstrates um, the game mechanics because there isn't really much content right now. But um, let's go with uh, insane difficulty here because um, you know, in general, I'm just crazy. And I tried veteran and normal but it, it wasn't very challenging. I was just losing like one person, one soldier or two uh, per mission, and that is just not really that much in XCOM universe. Um, I'm not sure if Iron Man mode actually means anything at this stage. So let's commence operations. And as I will be, is it, is it commencing? There we go. So um, if you don't know anything about um, XCOM, then I'll briefly explain how this works. You're fighting the alien menace. Um, and the mechanics of the game are pretty much like, let's say, Total War, where you have the um, we have the gen, uh, grand strategy map, um, which is this called Geoscape in again in XCOM universe, and then you have the tactical map. But in um, Xenonauts, as it was in uh, the original XCOM, the uh, uh, mechanics mechanic is a bit reversed in the sense that uh, the grand strategy map is real time and the tactical map is turn-based, um, which is the opposite of uh, all the to Total War games. Uh, let's um, build a base here. Um, let's cover, let's say, like around, I don't know, Rome, for example. Is there, is there a cities in here? No, not really. Um, so we can cover a large chunk of uh, money-giving nations and call uh, the base, uh, I don't know. There we go. No, no exclamation marks. Um, okay, so um, you have the base. That's the base uh, layout. You can build facilities in the base. Um, you have your um, a chopper that takes all your squad to the um, crash sites. Oh, basically, let's let's go back and one just more general um, observation here. So the aliens will fly around. You will shoot them down. And when they crash land, or if, the, if you catch them while they're landed, you send your team of uh, brave soldiers and they um, either capture or kill all the aliens and um, come back home with the loot. Uh, you do research, you uh, tech up, and you uh, save our um, civilization from uh, total and utter destruction. Okay, so let's go over um, some of the stuff, some of the content that is already in the game. Um, so this is the very basic stuff in the base. Uh, it's also all very, very similar to um, the original XCOM. If you have played it, you will be recognizing all of this. Um, you so so oh, you got you got your um, aircraft. This is uh, for transportation to uh, to have your. Uh, it's like a dropship, basically. I think this is the Chinook. Um, you got I think MIGs. Um, then you got missile array for ba uh, base defense. I don't know. It, I'm not. I don't think at this stage there is any base attack. You have uh, a garage now, uh, which was absent from uh, Origin XCOM, where you keep your um, tanks basically or light armor vehicles for now. Um, so you got the living space. You got your radar array. Um, the thing that looks like a casino. It's actually a storeroom. I think this is the lab. Is it the lab? No, it's a medical center. You got the lab. You got the workshop. So um, then, obviously, research is very important. When you start out in this build, you just have the research alien invasion. So uh, there is no description. You can see. 
So you start, you put on scientists to the research, all very basic stuff, and the progress is excellent apparently. Uh, there's nothing to build for um, so far. Uh, then you got a list of all the um, soldiers. You can as assign them to different crafts. We only have one craft right now, and so we have people assigned to that. Um, you can also hire people here. You can hire the technicians, scientists, soldiers, but we don't really need that right now. Um, then this is the stuff in the stores, I, I guess, but we, for some reason, have nothing, um, even though we have some weapons. Um, and these are the soldiers themselves. What's this? Oh, okay, you can change the armor. Um, so unlike the first game, unlike the original game, they do come with some sort of armor. Um, and no, this is the unassigned people. Let's go to assigned people. Uh, and they have a limited um, range of weapon there here. Let's let's give our soldiers like one of each. Okay, so we got the sniper guy, we got a, a shotgun guy, another shotgun guy. Let's give another shotgun guy. Let's take this away and give him a machine gun. Um, and like a clip, I guess, I don't know. Um, so we got the grenade launcher, uh, and just the machine gun dude. Let's, uh, let's give more grenade launchers to these people here. Get rid of this, get rid of this. We're not going to be healing anyone and that's extra weight. Cause, um, well in the tactical map, everything is destructible. Um, so that's kind of the fun part of the game. And in the, I think the original X when it came out in 1994, there as well, everything was destructible, which was a, a very, um, a, I don't know, major, amazing point about the game that you could actually raise the entire map if you have if you had uh, enough explosives. Okay, so that's um, our, oh, you can also give them, I think, grenades and oh, you can give them rockets. Oh, let's do that. Um, who was our additional grenade launcher guys? Oh, what's this? This is. Fragmentation, and this is, come on, now we don't need that, there's gonna be no armor there, let's, let's do that, I like those, where's the other guy, incendiary, incendiary, alright, cool, so, and there's uh, just one vehicle, which is a hunter, uh, just actually got two of them, they're, they're all the same, uh, you can change so far, you can just give them either rocket launcher or um, a machine gun, but um, again, rocket launcher is more fun, and then you got the aircraft, and you don't cannot really change anything. Um, you got um, Sidewinder and uh, Cannon. Uh, you will get a, another. Um, uh, you can research another airplane. And that, that you can also use in this game. Okay, so we're more or less ready. And that's the base construction preparation stage. So here, much again like in um, Toll War games, I guess, one of the recent ones that does the same thing. You can uh, speed up the time and wait um, for the aliens to appear and sometimes it takes oh we did research okay so and because we did that research i'm not gonna st st pause here you can pause the video and, and read if you'd like um obviously one thing leads to another and now we can research a high speed interceptor which is what we're going to do and they also changed it, like you, you maybe already know, or if not, then I can uh, inform you that the audio in XCOM was, um, was taking place in 1999, um, even so like six years into the future, I guess. This one is in 1979, uh, so it's like an alternative history, um, where during the Cold War, the Cold War is basically, so we researched uh, MiG-32, uh, is, is sort of interrupted, um, by the alien invasion, funnily enough. Uh, let's go back to the base. So we need a hangar. Um, where's the base building? Oh, there we go. So we, we're gonna build another hangar so we can build a new um, airplane. And yes, so um, yeah, it's end of the 70s. Uh, and I guess everyone then decides to kind of cooperate um, to um, defeat uh, a much stronger foe than each other. And um, there, right, it's no aliens. They're just undermining my entire. Um, let's look at a Xenonauts. Oh, there we go. Okay, so then your radars finally catch um, a glimpse of a UFO, um, and you intercept it. Um, in Xenonauts, you can send three uh, fighters together after the UFO. Um, and let's speed up the time a little bit. So it gives you the um, small description. It's a light scout, and you 
either can tail the target, disengage or engage. But while you're inside the engagement, you also control your uh, fighter planes. Um, this is a new development because there was, it was completely absent. In the original, we were just saying, okay, uh, attack aggressively, less aggressively, go home. Um, I'm not sure how exactly to control this. I'm not sure if it's completely implemented here. There are certain controls here, like you can turn on the afterburner or you do some evasive maneuvering and you can tell them to like for example split them up and tell them I'll go here go here and one continue following and then those two will return on to the target again um, but usually because the only small uh, UFOs appear so far um, it's just enough to tell them to uh, just shoot it down and most of the times they even destroy it so the missiles are out and oh crash land great so we can do a little recover mission so far I've only countered um, two types of maps uh, this is gonna be night, right? Oh, it's okay. Night night missions used to be terrifying in the original XCOM, but here they are so far not so bad. Though I'm playing on an insane difficulty, and I haven't done so yet, so um, I don't know really what to expect, but it should be fine. Um, yes, so we're going to the crash site um, to either capture... I, I, we have no means of capturing, so basically we just kill the aliens. I think there's another option where you just hold the alien craft for several turns and it becomes yours or like you win the mission, something like that, but let's see. Engage. So we need to be patient, but this other thing will be shorter in the future. Okay, so um, yeah, so you either hold the UFO for five turns. Um, the UFOs are tiny, so it's kind of like you just put one guy in there and I guess hold, but there's no point really because there's probably going to be not more than three aliens um, around and should be fairly easy to uh, destroy them. So, this is a map, um, should be very recognizable for people who have played XCOM. They basically took the same um, static and just put it in a bit more modern... Um, uh, I don't know what you call it, graphics, I guess, and um, it's. I think it's awesome. So um, let's take our tank out. Also, this time uh, our uh, dropship has. Um, that's the dropship there. Has uh, three exits, which is great because usually in the original action we just got out of the back and and just completely die right away. Anyway, uh, let's roll out with our tank. Um, oh, we have a farmer here. They usually run around like a headless chicken. So, get on the road, see what's up. Are we at the bottom of the map? Yes, we are. Okay, let's go up here. Um, who's this guy? Sniper. Let's put the sniper here. Another farmer. No aliens. That is a glitch, I think, and that which means that the alien craft is right there. Okay, so who's. Oh, no, no, no. We just need a different guy. Oh, uh, we got a shotgun guy from Japan. Alright, so we put the Japanese guy here and we put uh, Lazlo Sokolo, where the hell is he from? Okay, anyway, um, move him out. Guy with a pistol. Um, so let's just move all of them out. I'm not gonna be very careful now because this there's not really any progression. Um, there, there's no way you can win the game or pretty much lose the game. just want to show the way uh, all this works and um, you can probably notice that the graphics are not really mind-blowing but that's that was never really the point about XCOM and um, I think they are, have captured the spirit of the game very very well uh, and I'm very excited about um, it coming out this year um, okay so we got the heated movement well there was not very much movement there I don't think there's like more than one alien the farmers are running out like crazy. Oh, nice moves there. <laughs> okay, so it's our turn again. Um, I will probably, not probably, but I, I will let's play um, both games. Uh, the one, the, the commercial one and the indie one. Um, because I think they're both going to be fun in their own um, way. And yeah, that's the alien craft there. They, they also made alien crafts a lot prettier, I guess, better looking. Um, our guys do a bit um, uh, more uh, realistic jump over the fence than the farmers do. Um, there we go. You may also have noticed that all um, soldiers are male, 
and that was the initial plan because they said it was too expensive to animate uh, female characters. Uh, but they are doing it because they got funded on uh, Kickstarter. Uh, they were going to make the game anyway, whether or not um, the Kickstarter was successful. But because it was successful, uh, now we are going to have female soldiers. Uh, okay. And oh, also, they, they were asking for $50,000, um, but they got 150. So there's going to be a lot more additional uh, stuff available in, in, in the content available in the game okay uh, no not you you um, so you have no clue where the alien may be hiding so far there's only one type of alien um, there should be lots more when this actually um, comes out so okay guess we moved everyone um, and turn uh, alien is active Oh, no one's dying so far. Oh, there, who's that? Is that the alien? Terrified farmers are running away. Come on. Is that the alien? Yes, we got him. So there, there are little icon lights up here. Um, this is some sort of reptilian type alien that we got there. Um, let's blow him up with our tank. Uh, you can... Um, the aiming system here, you can see, is um, you can go to from snap, normal, and aimed but the tank doesn't have aimed i think only the like the sniper type characters see have aimed um the pe depending on what weapon basically you're holding uh, with the shotgun you cannot really have aimed you can have normal um and you also go with the right click kind of like in jack the lines uh where you were just clicking right click right click right click and then you would go from 90 percent to i don't know like 225 to 30 and so on so let's do aimed shot with our tank and see what happens to the face and he is dead well that was not <laughs> that was a bit fast okay um the tile the fire is also in the smoke is tile based and the entire game you can see is tile based which is pretty old school and pretty cool i think um this actually could be it i'm not even gonna move my soldiers now um is this it yeah, the farmers are running around, which means it's probably we, we, we uh, just defeated the aliens on insane difficulty. Um, yeah. Okay, man. Yeah, that's the mission is over. Um, so, we four civilians survived. Two aliens killed. One of them died in the crash, as I, I understand. Um, and we have now their, um, the civilian, I guess is the, is the race, uh, name of the race of the aliens. Uh, corpse to research and we got alien plasma pistol they we can research them they don't really give us anything so far uh, as i said this is just the mechanical mechanic mechanics of the game that is demonstrated in this build which by the way even though the kickstart is over you can still get it from the website you can pre-order the game and you get the latest build to play around with which is which is what i'm doing now i got uh, i got the game way before they even started kickstarter but I only got around to um, showcasing it in, on, on my channel now. Okay, so that's our soldiers. I think anyone advanced to anything? Maybe Michael became a sergeant? I'm not sure. All right. Okay, so um, yeah, that's done. And are we researching anything now? No, we're not, but we can research. We can do autopsy on this poor chap here and done. And when the hangar is done, we can um, build a new aircraft and let's go let's get some more let's get another mission i want to just want to show you um the second map um if that's possible game please um and i guess that's where we'll end um oh, oh they're over the sea that really sucks because if we yeah, if we shoot them down they're just gonna fall into the um okay let's tail until overland because there's no point really okay they have escaped to space <laughs> Right, never mind. We'll catch them later. Is it random? Oh, okay, what's this? Oh, the autopsy is done. Okay, anyway, again, um, just pause the screen if you want to read it. Uh, let's do another research. Oh, alien alloy. Now let's do alien plasma pistol. Um, I think when you research this, you can you are, have the ability to use it, um, but not for some reason not manufacture it right now. I don't know why. But I guess just hasn't been incorporated into the game yet. Okay, the hangar is ready. 
go to base, go to workshop and build MiG-32 interceptor. Yes. What's this? Oh, okay. So one aircraft, 10 technicians done. Go. So the second one, the first map is what well, the one you saw is, is the, <laughs> it's like, a, it looks like a, a nail gun. Um, so I think you can pick it up in the game. We can try that if, if uh, opportunity arises to do that. Um, but you, you cannot manufacture it for some reason. I, I guess the reason being that this is pre-alpha or alpha um, build, build of the game. All right, come on, aliens. Let's get the show on the road. All right, there's another one. Very small. Probably going to be destroyed in the air. Send like two airplanes after it. And this is a fighter. Hmm, okay. Um, engage, but. Come on, let's not use all the missiles. Let's use half of the missiles so we don't blow it up. Okay, let's go. Oh, and the fighters can dodge your missiles, that's right. See? That's what they did, that's what he did right there. And our, our, is getting, oh, it got destroyed anyway. Oh, it sucks. Anyway. Um, our interceptors got damaged a little bit, but that's okay. Okay, so we got now a new interceptor. Um, come on. Alien alloys have been researched, and I think this is where the research ends. Yep, there's nothing else to do. And we can only produce the aircraft, which is, by the way, where is it? This one here. It's a bit bigger. And the other ones, and this ones have the avalanche torpedo. Okay. Again, waiting for the aliens. The month is almost out, and we, we, don't have an, we only had one mission. Come on. Well, then again, we can see the uh, month and the screen where they pay us. Or don't pay us. There we go. The, well, some people... Europe is happy, I guess, because their base is there. North America is unhappy. Um... Everyone else doesn't really care. Indochina is limiting our resources there. Australia is, I guess, pretty much unhappy because, yeah, I guess they're too far away. Um, surprisingly, Soviet Union doesn't really care. Usually they just decrease the amount of funding all the time. Okay, here's a small one. Let's see how this goes. Send two of these guys. Engage. Crash lands, nice. So we got the second mission. Hopefully this is in the city. Um, which is not really likely because it's in the middle of Greenland. But I've seen this build um, ignore completely where the um, crash, um, where the UFO crash lands, and just do the city mission anyway. So um, to be honest, let's hope that it does that. Okay. Where's our Chinook? Go for it. Another night mission. Engage. Yes. So, I think it also tries to showcase uh, the two maps that it, it has. Um, and so, this is the other map. This is the urban map. Um, again, quite similar to the original XCOM, um, as people who had played it, uh, have played it will recognize. Um, and this time around, there should be more aliens. So, um, let's see how we fare. What's that sound? Weird. Um... 
in our these new surroundings. They are also often inside the building, but I think this time, not this time. Um, okay, let's get a guy on the side here. It's our sniper guy. Right up to the van. Um, the maps are slightly randomized. Um, these two maps, uh, when they appear, not exactly the same. Turn around, see what's up here. Go that way. Okay, no more moves. Um, everyone has inventory as well. Um, you can see here. You can pick up stuff uh, from aliens or from the um, other, you from your teammates or dead teammates or live teammates. You can go through the um, people you have. You can. I think you can give everyone the normal armor. It's just that it's more, it's heavier, um, and can encumber um, your uh, troops. Okay, let's continue and kill those aliens. The rocket troop. Let's send this one up to the door. It's our machine gunner. Send the rocket guy here. Send another rocket guy here. And who's this shotgun dude? And this is Andreas Miller with the assault rifle. Okay, cool. Enter. See if they kill any um, any civilians this time. There we go, there's a CV. To be honest, when I turned on the... Um... Oh, what was that? They must be angry. When I turned on the insane difficulty, I was expecting a bit more opposition than I when I got, but okay, never mind. For some reason, there are also soldiers who... i never seen them fire at anything, but they are here for some reason. Um, okay, let's pick up. The knight is not helping us at all. Got an alien, no. Oh, and that's their ship, it's burning this time around, which is pretty cool. Um, but we don't, we don't see anyone in it yet. Let us go up here, let us go up here. I'm just gonna randomly send everyone. Uh, well, he's a rocket trip. Let's leave him outside. He's not much use indoors. Um, who was this? Machine gun dude. All right, send him here. This guy is useless. Dude, send him over here. Hmm, still no aliens, okay. Back him up with the rocket guy. He can't really move that fast because of all the weight he's carrying. Um, is that oh, everyone? That's everyone. All right, let's send this one. Strangely, the, I can't. I do not hear the alien blasters going off, which is weird. Usually, it, it, it's constant. Everyone's just running around. The soldier is a bit anxious. Okay, send this guy out. He got shot. Oh, that's the alien. That's a different type of alien. Never seen him before. I thought there was only one type, but I was wrong. Oh, and there's another one dead. I think he killed himself. Um, from this, he was depressed by the urban decrepitude. All right. Um, well, can we grenade him? <laughs> oh, that was that was lame. Oh, Laszlo, you disappoint me. All right, send the rocket dude up there. Um, if we, well, let's fry just everyone. Let's fry those um, corporate workers. I was thinking like to just killing the alien like silent like, but it's just, it's just no way of doing that, is there? All right. Oh, I, oh, I cannot get to him because there's this guy. All right, never mind. Um, let's, let's send the shotgun guy. In the face. And he died. Oh, okay. So, um, insane difficulty. I'm getting it now. Okay, let's send this guy up here. Um, I doubt there's anything that way. But still. 
Oh, there's another alien. Oh, he sees this one. Okay. Let's send... Oh, this is the sniper. Who's this then? Oh, I should have sent him inside. Okay, let's send this guy inside. Just to clear this building. Okay, so this may be a bit difficult. More difficult than I thought it would be. You know what? Just fuck the CVs. Just do this. Let's kill that guy. Okay, the CV died right away. <laughs> But the alien dude is still standing. He looks so creepy. Alright. But I'm also really happy that I saw a different type of alien. Um, who hasn't moved yet? Michael. Michael Washington. Why don't you move out, Michael? Can you get up there? No, he can't. Hide behind the tank. Tank moves forward. Michael moves forward with the tank. Um, we should send someone up there just to take a look at the craft. So that I can show you what it looks like, the different type of craft. I really like how they did the UFOs. I think they're very pretty. Um, okay, so who's this? Oh, he can still um, fire his pistol. <laughs> Maybe that's what I should have done all along. Uh, let's put him into a... Um, Crouching position and okay, well done. One more. <laughs> Did he? Oh, I thought he got the CV. All right. And turn. Oh, <laughs> he died of his wounds, or maybe of the fire. A uh, civilian is choking in the smoke. Is this it? David panicked. Oh, they, they already introduced panicking thing. Who's David? Is he David? Oh, David, there's not even anyone there. Come on. Where? There's another alien. Oh, he's not. He's alive. He's not dead. The civilian died over there. Oh, I thought the alien died. Okay. Um, Alright, let's use our uh, beloved tank once more. No, he is definitely... And we resurrected the civilian. Interesting. I didn't know that mechanic was in the game. Okay, so let's send... Michael up north. To take a look at the craft. This one's a bit bigger. Even though it's called a small scout. Um, send this guy in here. No one's here. Is this a two-story building? Okay, uh, toggle roof? No? Okay. Send this guy here. No aliens in this workshop. Maybe that is the last alien because I didn't hear any blasters going off. Um, let's send Laszlo over he here. Can he see the alien stuff? No, wait. No, he cannot see the alien stuff. Then maybe go back one step forward. Oh, he can't do that. That's a shame. Oh, this guy's dead. Let's see if I can see dead people stuff. I can? Yes, there we go. Oh, that, that's a nice drawing. I like that. I hope they keep it that way. And don't make it more cartoony or something. That's pretty cool. Um, so yeah, obviously you can manage the inventory, pick up all the stuff you want to pick up. Um, so that's done. And my bet is that we have had a successful mission. Oh no, we have no? Wait, wait. Since the civilians are running around, and now... Mission success. Yes, there we go. So, um... How many aliens? Four aliens killed. And we actually killed one, so two died in the crash. One died on its own in the streets of this urban jungle. And then all the civilians... No, one civilian died. Everyone else survived. Successful mission. We got another um, corpse of a different... I don't know how to press... Cajun? Cajun guard corpse. Um, plasma rifle. Alien grenade. So potentially, yes, there could be more research done here. I was wrong that there was... Um, 
uh, there was not enough. There was I thought there was less content in in this build, but actually there's more. But uh, I'm not gonna go through all that stuff right now. Um, I think this video is gonna be long enough anyway. And let's end here um, today. And um, thanks for watching. Um, and I'll see you next time. Bye.